Sista, sista! Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be doing 90s crafts. So uh, the crafts we're gonna be doing today are crafts that I grew up doing. Um, my mom and I uh, were heavy crafters. We did things like these, which are curler bees, or also known as fuse bees. So basically it's like these little beads that you put on like a pegboard and then you iron them and then like you can create different different uh, shapes and different characters and it's just something that I just really wanted to be installed today. Um, so we have this one and we also have these, Wileen, I think that's just the company name, but they're um, the little like nylon, or not nylon, like plastic string that you know you used to make in summer camp, that's why I used to make these in summer camp where you would like make little keychains and whatnot. Um, so I'm super excited about that. So I have, it comes with this so you can make keychains with them. Um, I think this is gonna be another video because I don't think I'm gonna be focusing today on doing the perler beads. So we'll save her for another time. And so while I'm doing uh, the perler beads today, we're gonna be watching Sister Sister because if you know, uh, it's now on Netflix, so I'm super excited to rewatch it. I don't think I've ever actually watched it all the way through, only, you know, whenever it came on, I think it was Nickelodeon, right? So whenever it came on Nickelodeon, I would just watch it, so I thought we could watch it together. Of course, I can't show you the video, because, you know, copyright. Um, but if you want to watch along with me, I'll be starting off with Season 1, Episode 1. But first, let's get set up with our perler beads. So I got this off Amazon. Um, if you have the opportunity, definitely please support your local craft store. Um, but yeah, this is what it comes with. They're like multicolored beads. Like, I want to use a glow in the dark. The next we have the peg thing. So like, this is what like you put the beads on. And then like once you finish your design, um, you're gonna iron it so it kind of like fuses together later. So let's open this. My first unboxing. Okay. Um, this is fancy. I mean, this is kind of nice because it helps you like place the beads on the fuse or the on the pegboard thing. But I did not have that growing up. It's not that fancy. Um, so there's different designs or different like pegboard designs. So first we have just like a blanket square, like clear squares, and this allows you to make designs that are like bigger than the ones that they offer. So the other ones that they offer are like a bunny, cute, bunny, like a little tulip, little flower, a circle, a hexagon, <laughs> and what is this? I don't even know what this is. So, since the theme of today's video is 90s, I have a whole list of like 90s things or like designs I want to do. One of the main goals of things I want to do today is um, create magnets. So, I just moved into a new apartment and you know, decorating everything and our fridge right now is like very bare and it's very sad to look at. So, I would like to make some magnets. And I saw um, these like magnets with the perler beads on Pinterest. So um, I was inspired by that. I'll put a photo either here or here of what I'm trying to go for. So I have the beads and I also ordered some like little magnets off Amazon, just like little stick ones that you can just stick on the back of things. Um, so I'll be making those. But I also have a list of like other 90s designs that I want to do. Um, let's see what are they? Okay, so I definitely want to do, uh, like the Nickelodeon, like, splat, like the slime splat. I'll put an image here, or here. I want to do that. I want to do the, the F. Jerry symbol. I don't know what other name to call it, um, but I'll put a symbol here. It was, like, all those, like, wax Dixie cups that we used to drink out of. Those, like, like waxy ones. I'll put that image here. I want to do that. I want to make a little like plank keychain, uh, I'll let Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Um, I want to do, what else? I want to try to attempt the all that sign. This is all that, this is all that. All right. And I also would like to do like um, the smiley face, maybe some like fruits, 
Um, what else? And we'll just see what comes to mind, some inspiration, whatever comes to mind. So let's get started. So I'm gonna talk you guys through like the first design and then I'm gonna start watching Sister Sister. Um, so the first one I think I would like to do, which is do some of the ma uh, the magnet ones. And the inspiration I'm drawing from is, um, it's pretty like, how would you say it? I would say it's like 90s inspired. Alright, she is open. Like, woo! Ah! Okay. So I'm gonna just do a couple of the like standard shapes that we have offered here. I'm gonna do the circle. Um, I don't have a lot of beads I'm looking at, but I'm gonna try to make do with what I have, and then I may just have to just buy some more. So I'm just gonna be putting the beads on my little thread board. I've never used this. I feel like this is gonna make it more complicated. Oh wow. Wow, that was, that was, that's kind of nice. This is like really therapeutic. If you're just at home, obviously you're at home, hopefully you're at home, because hashtag quarantine2020. Um, this is like a really nice soothing project to do. Just putting a little plastic on pegs. And I know this is like not the most eco-friendly like craft, like don't come for me in the comments, but I, I am sorry. There's no excuse to be honest. But. Um, shoot, probably should have, like, that's okay though. That's okay. I already bought it. No going back now. Okay. Um, so I'm probably gonna, like, speed this up a bit and I'm gonna watch some sister sister. Okay, pause. This is, like, so wholesome. I'm so excited. I mean, like, I feel like remember when I, I remember when I was watching Sister Sister, I was like, wow, like the representation of just having two black girls on um, television. Uh, I believe it was it was a Disney show, right? Disney or Nickelodeon? Either one of them. And just having them on the main screen and having that representation was huge. Um, I also like I grew up with four older brothers, um, so I really never really had a sister. So I always looked at Tia and Tamara and like. Can you add me as your third sister? I know I'm not a twin, but... Oh snap, okay, so we have opening scene. They're talk T and Tamara are talking about how they reunited and how they found each other and it's gonna be at a fashion, shoot, what'd she say? Like a fashion store sellout, so I am I am excited to see the fashion here. All right, first off the bat, lots of plaid. I feel like I see one, two, like three people wearing plaid. So definitely, and they're wearing it with like, what are they wearing it with? Like over a hoodie? That's something I haven't seen before, I feel like. Excuse me? Ooh, okay. So, I think it's this. Tam I think Tamara's the one with the mole. I don't remember. But anyway, one of the twins is wearing like a. Those like 90s like sweaters with like the embroidery or applique on it with like a like turtleneck underneath. It's not my cup of tea, but I definitely do see that a lot when I go to thrift stores. Uh, but behind Tia or Tamara, one of the twins, is this person wearing this oversized like um, button down, I would say, or like pullover, and it has like all these multicolored like stripes on it. Um, I definitely would definitely wear something like that.
So this is how I have so far. It doesn't look like much, but I think I'm gonna add a different color because I'm already running out of I'm already running out of this one color. So I wanna add yeah, so we're gonna add this like cream color. I think it's supposed to be like a skin color. It's gonna be kind of like I hope it looks like it's gonna look like a little like dripping effect. That'd be kind of cool. Because I finished my first one and it's just like a little circle with some like different colors in it, nothing too special, but I kind of like that abstract look to it. So I'll put that to the side. At the end, we're going to iron them all and then I'll put the magnets on so that we can uh, make the magnets for the fridge. Next, I'm going to do like a triangle. And since I don't have a triangle shape, I'm going to use the star to make that. Uh, and I think I'm going to just do, I mean, I have a lot of these, so I'll make it like a little neon one. Um, and just make it a little triangle. Okay, so Tia or Tamara, one of the twins, has this outfit on. It's like um, denim on denim, but she has like uh, light wash denim on with like painted on sunflowers, which is really cute. I feel like that has already had a resurgence of like just people painting on their denim, doing DIYs and stuff. And she's wearing like a um, denim blazer over top a yellow long sleeve. Uh, the long sleeve matches the color of the sunflowers. Um, that's something that I would typically wear, but I do feel like vests are coming back, not necessarily jean vests, but sweater vests are coming back, which is definitely something I'm gonna talk about in my next video. Um, just about like fall 2020 trends and how to style them up. Another one, it's just a little triangle. She's cute. Okay, next I'm going to do, I'm gonna to try to attempt the biggest one that I think I'll be able to get through today, um, which is going to be the Nickelodeon Splat. So I'm gonna use the big one since there is no shape that's like a flat. Um, shoot, I don't have enough orange. Maybe I'll make a really tiny splat. So let me just get out all the orange. Make a little tiny, tiny little splat. Maybe I should use this one. This is like kind of splatty. Let's try, I think the first thing we should do is just make a little outline of it. First we pull up the Nickelodeon splat for some inspiration. So I got the splat. Um, yeah, I definitely don't have enough to make it like very big, but I can definitely just make a little like blob shape and call it the Nickelodeon splat. And I'll pause it, I'll show you guys when I have the outline.
so this might have been a fail. Um, this is the outline. Um, <laughs> as you can see, like, it won't be perfectly like round like the splat is, but because because that gets how pegs or like the curly beads work, but. episode two now and the girls have already moved in with uh ray into the bigger house um and one of the twins has shorts and but she's also wearing like plaid tights underneath i do know that i remember there was a time this reminds me of a time where like girls or we would use i know i don't think i ever did this trend but we would wear like a jean skirt but you would wear like leggings underneath but like capri leggings um, but I do, one of the things I love about the 90s fashion is just like all the different types of color and patterns. Uh, in the opening segment, the girls are wearing like platform, like look like Converse. Um, so that's definitely something that's already in style. Wearing them with like tube socks, definitely in style right now. Um, what else were they wearing? Um, one thing that I do like that they, I would like to kind of try is that they're wearing their shoes with like colorful socks. Now I feel like most people nowadays are wearing like, you know, two white socks, but like, what about color? Adding color in your socks would be kind of fun to try as well. Also a lot of different layering pieces, um, things that necessarily I wouldn't probably wear. To, one of the twins is wearing like a plaid shirt and a like bohemian vest over top. It's like kind of like macrame. Um, entirely sure about that, but I do appreciate the experimentation. Okay, so I filled it in. Is it a splat? Like, or is it just... Mm, mm. I think I'm gonna keep it because I already spent this much time putting it together. But like, it's something. And if people ask what it is, I'll just like say it's the Nickelodeon Splat, but an abstract version of it. Maybe I'll just keep adding to it to make it more like blob-like. But I don't have that much orange, as you guys can see. I probably should have like actually looked up like the curler bead, like someone else. So if someone else did it, maybe I'll do that. Okay, no luck, but I'm just gonna wing it like I have been doing it, and I'm just gonna say this is the splat. Yep, this is it. Next, I can try doing plank. Yeah, let's do that one. better when I flatten it so but he's done so I'm super excited about that so now I'm working on the Jerry symbol or like the you know that wax cup we all, all used to use it's pretty it's kind of hard to do but I think I think it looks pretty cool like I think it's pretty like close to what it looks like 
So I'm just gonna fill the, this little bit in with more blue and then the rest with white on top, and this one will be done. I finished it and I think, I think I did something here. I think it looks pretty good. Ta-da! I need to flatten it obviously, but I think I did a pretty good job for like just doing it. I didn't even use like my own like guide. I'm really proud of this one. Let's see, I'm gonna do one more cause I'm getting kinda tired and I'm kinda hungry right now. So, sorry my battery died so you did miss some of the assembly, but here are the pieces that I made. We have plank, we have the Buck Jerry sign, we have a colorful like little circle. We have my version of the Nickelodeon splat, uh, like a neon triangle. Uh, Gary did a saxophone, a little colorful, a little like rectangle, and then I also did like, a BLM sign. I feel like that's what BLM would look like if we were in the 90s. Um, so next we're going to iron it, so that's why I have my little ironing board it right here. This is actually the only ironing board I have. I should probably get a grown-up one and get like an actual like full standing one, but this is what I have. I've had her since uh, freshman year, so good old faithful. So first we're gonna take, I'll do the smallest one first, which is the triangle. You're gonna put it on your ironing board, and then the kit itself comes with like this sort of like, I wanna say like, it's almost like parchment paper of some sort. You're gonna lay it on top of your design, and then I have, um, my iron on really low heat. I don't want to like burn them. And then according to the box, you're supposed to just uh, move the iron in a circular motion for about 30 seconds. And once it kind of starts seeing it's like melt together, you're gonna take it off um, the pegboard and put it on the other side so it can cool. Here they are, they're so cute. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to the fridge because she is playing, she's boring, she has no pizzazz on it, and this is gonna add some pizzazz, so let's go. So here we are. Let's turn the light on, babe. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, it's going up! <laughs> This is so cute! Okay. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay. Yeah, I think it looks good like that. Then we have the splat. A little music. And there's a little square. So here they are. I hope you guys liked watching the video. I had a lot of fun. It is very time consuming, but it was enjoyable just to go, go back into the 90s and just do a lot of the crafts that I grew up doing. And then also watch Sister Sister, um, so I just loved that show growing up. So definitely, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it's not about thrifting or fashion necessarily, but I just wanted to do something fun because it's such, like, so freaking hot out right now. Uh, I just needed an activity where I can just stay inside and just chill for a bit. But next week, I'm going to be doing a bit of a thrift with me, or more like an attempt to thrift with me because uh, I've never filmed myself in public. Uh, so I'm going to try to do a thrift with me and also a haul of just fall uh, 2020 trends. So you definitely want to tune in next Thursday for that video. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, well, thank you guys so much. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you have a great day. Stay cool. Be safe. Be healthy. Meerkat out.